Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Deb's Way. And I'm Deb, and he's not. He's my William. We are waiting in the car here at the VA clinic, Lake Baldwin VA clinic. William is supposed to be getting a COVID test today, pre-surgery COVID test, but the, I, I assume she's a nurse. The nurse who checked us in here said that it okay. could possibly be too early for the COVID test. And so, yeah, we, the pre-surgery nurse called us, the surgical nurse called us to set up this appointment. And so I don't know, but we'll see what ha what's happening. She's taken the information and she's double checking to make sure that it's not too early. If it is, well, hey, we come back. She says you can get it a couple of days ahead of time, but maybe this is maybe one day or so too early. We can't do that can't. because they're, they're going to call in a couple of days to set everything up. And then the COBA has to be done before time that. Time-wise. Yeah. See, they come right to your car here, like she is to that guy over there in the truck, and um, give you get your information and then come back and give you the test. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's what we're doing this morning. And then from here, we're, we're running a few errands, but the first stop is going to be for breakfast or brunch, really. And I think we're going, we decided on IHOP. So stick around with us. We're just out and around today, having fun. And yes, on the campus here at the VA, you do need to have a mask on. So we are in compliance. And they still have their check-in area here too. Let me show you here. I am sitting just across from the check-in place where you come on campus. And so, yep, before you come through there, you better put your mask on. And they check what you're here for and, and send you on your way. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Isn't it, William? It's a nice day. 66 degrees. <laughs> I guess we're getting used to the chill in the air. <laughs> so, yeah, but the sun is out and that helps keep things warm. Oh, he, he's done. The guy next to us, he's leaving. We'll see what our status is real soon. I think behind me I see the nurse putting on gloves, so I think it's okay. <laughs> yep, she's putting on surgical gloves, so we shall see. Let me talk to her when she comes back. Yeah, you can. She's coming. Well, she was coming to your window. Why? What? I want to make her to understand. Yeah. Exact way it was worded to me. May I took your uh, hand. Now I got to tell you what what's going on, okay? At Do the, I have to? Yeah, well, why we're here. 9786. I, anyhow, we're okay. Let me, let me explain to you what I was told. What were you told? At the clinic on Lake Nona. Okay, they said, okay, you have an appointment the 15th. Okay, uh, I got the order. Now you won't understand unless you listen to me. She said it's okay, she's yeah, got but, the orders. And why we're here, this is strange what they said. They said, okay, you go get that COBA, and when we get the word back that you've taken a COBA, then we will call you and tell you what time your surgery is. Right. They didn't give me a surgery time till you get this. Right. So it and could then, be earlier or later. So tomorrow, by 24 hours, you should get the result. Okay. So got there's, it? there's got it. and I already talked to him. He's and you told me there's an order and I got the order. He's nervous. I told him on the way here that there's a possibility they'll get the results of this and they just might call and say, come in tomorrow morning at, before Friday. You'll be fine. And then you can see all the pretty girls. <laughs> Is that what you're hoping for? No, my wife's sitting next to me. <laughs> You're talking like that. What? 
You know what they said? You can look, just don't touch. That's right. Oh, now they tell me the rules. <laughs> you have a very beautiful wife. She'll understand. I'm sure she does. See? She knows. Yeah. Listen, we are, uh, we may be old, but we're not dead. That's right. <laughs> they said you can always admire. Correct. Awesome. Okay, I'm ready when you're ready. I'm ready. Do you mind taking, oh. You need. Okay. A little rich for me. Do you mind sitting up straight? Oh, can you sit up straight, William? Why? No, okay, never mind. That's it's, okay. It's hard for him. He's got... That's okay. Yeah. I'm good. I'm rich. Just don't move your oh, head for oh, me, okay? You want to open the car door? No, it's okay. Just don't, uh, just don't <laughs> move your head side to side or up and down. Uh, do you have any broken nose? No. I mean, quite a left or right? No. Left or right side, do you want to... Uh, I better do it this side. Okay. It's got to be this long, okay? So try to be patient with me. Hmm. Well, good luck. Okay. Good luck seeing you girls in Lake Nuna. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for your service. Okay. So tomorrow, uh -huh. you can go to my health event. Okay. You will see your result. Okay. But usually, if you don't get a call, it's negative. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Any question? No. Okay, thank you very much. We're just Mike. glad it worked out for today. <laughs> he was Stay all nice set for it. nice and cool. Not too cold. I was No, cold. no. This is nice. I just said it. It's 66. It's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> we've been here since 7 o'clock, so it's cold. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. Have a good one. Tay, thank you. How far back do they go, William? I know, but then she went up more than back, and that really hurt. Did it hurt? Oh, yes. I've had that done before, and it didn't hurt like that. Wow. Okay. We're heading out. Hey, William. What? How did it go? It sucked. <laughs> but you survived. You got the COVID test done. Yeah, but I got a new hole in my nose. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, now you're all set, ready to go. Anytime they call you, if they should call before Friday to get your cataract surgery. So, that's, that's a good thing. And right now, we are at IHOP, where William is enjoying his orange juice. <laughs> Said it tastes like it's got a lot of pineapple juice in it. Grape. But grape. Grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit. Yeah. Oh. A lot of places cheap in their orange juice by saturating it with grapefruit and it fills the glass. Uh -huh. It's not all pure orange juice. Yes. <laughs> but you have to take what you can get. Yes. He put already put some sugar in it. We're just we've already ordered and we're waiting for our breakfast. Okay. Once again, yes, we're. Food got delivered and I'm just so hungry I dug right in. But let me show you. What I got is a country breakfast and a bowl. And it's so good. And grilled sourdough toast. I like that. William got his scrambled eggs with bacon and he gave me a piece of his bacon. Hmm. And a bowl of fruit and an English muffin. And he is all set to go. <laughs> what are you trying to do, William? A cup from the work. <laughs> okay, we're going to eat our breakfast and hit the road. My breakfast was so good and so filling. This is what's going home for another morning. So I get two meals in one. Not bad. We're back home now after a busy morning out and around. And it started out, what time? We left the house probably, well, not real early, but um, probably about 10, 10.30. And headed out to Lake Baldwin VA Clinic. That's where William had orders to go for a COVID test. It was a pre-surgery COVID test leading up to his cataract surgery, which is scheduled actually for Friday. But we were told way back when he had this all set up that 
there is a possibility he might be called in earlier. And now once he's had this COVID test, he could be called in. Well, they'll have the results by tomorrow, we were told. So anytime after tomorrow, he could be called in early to go for surgery. And according to what he's told me today, he's ready. He's ready to get it over with. I would be too. So one way or the other this week is the week that William has his cataract surgery on the one eye. So anyway, we started out at the VA clinic for that COVID test. And once that was done, we headed from there and went out for brunch. We went to IHOP, which is a place that we used to go to. I mean, even during the pandemic, <laughs> even during the pandemic when restaurants were open back up again, we would go there for a meal, usually breakfast or brunch. And we decided since the VA clinic was near there, we just swung into that parking lot on our way home and had brunch and it was very, very good. And I brought leftovers home for another day. So after having a nice brunch there at IHOP, we started heading for home and stopped off along the way running a few errands. One of which was to the post office where I needed to mail off some packages going overseas. And this is the, I think this is the earliest I've ever had to mail out, but uh, you know, heeding all the warnings about slow deliveries and everything, I did get my overseas packages mailed out today. So I'm glad that was taken care of. And of course, a few doors down from the post office is the Coop Antique Store, or Coop Antique Mall. Well, ever since visiting there, what, a week ago or so, I could not get a certain object out of my mind. I kept thinking about it. I looked it up online because I knew who the um, manufacturer was. And I priced it out because I thought you know, it seemed a little high. But I priced it out online and thought, okay, it depends. If it's in really, really good shape, yeah it can go for the price that they're asking for. And well, like I told William today, since we were stopping at the post office, just a few doors down from that was the Coop Antique Store. And I wanted to go back in and see if this particular item was still on the shelves. And if it was, then it was like I was gonna get it. It was meant to be, I guess. But that's kind of what William told me too. He said that, well, if it's not there, then it wasn't meant for you to buy it. And that's true. That's how I look at it as well. So after the, doing my business at the post office, I went back into the Coop Antiques and I got my little teapot. This is a James Bradley. And I don't know, what would you say? That's a little three to four cup teapot. I don't have this size in particular. And it has a lovely scene on it. I will do a close-up of it here. I know out of my last video, somebody said they couldn't see the earrings that I bought. And so um, I will make sure that there is a close-up shot of these two items that I picked up today. <laughs> One of which being this teapot. It's a lovely, lovely, like, sea view. And I don't know if I would say this is the Bahamas. I think so because there are, like, tropical flowers around the lid here. I just... I could not get this teapot out of my mind. And there was another one with it too on the shelves. And I took a look at that one as well today and compared them and I thought, I liked this one. And this is the one that I came home with today, okay? So that is my newest addition to my teapot collection. And really, I never thought I'd be adding anything else to my tea collection because I've actually downsized from what I did have. but. This one, I just, I could not get out of my mind. And I did show William this, my purchase. And he, he said it was a rare, he said it was a very nice little teapot too. So I'm glad that I did go back and get it. So I got the teapot. Now on my way to get back to the booth that was selling this teapot, because I remember where it was at, I passed by another booth. And out on the table on full display, which I did not see before because I did pass that booth before, was this. And I will show you a close-up of this as well later on with a teapot. A Santa Claus plate. 
Now you can either use this for you know snacks or hors d'oeuvres or whatever, but they have it set up to be a wall hanging. And I thought that's exactly what I'll use it for, something like that. Or I do have a picture uh, frame holder that this would prop up in. I might do that too. But I bought this. This was $10. My little teapot, he was $31. And it is China, so. But that is a new purchase for me. <laughs> And I will definitely be using this teapot in the future. You'll see it again, maybe even next week. I didn't have time to wash it up and get using it this time around. Maybe next week. For this week, I have Pepsi. <laughs> okay. That was my drink of choice when we got home. Because it's, it's a nice day out today. It was 66 when we were out earlier today. And then by the time we headed back home, the temperature was reading like um, 73. So it, it was a very nice day today. And the thing is, like I told William, I said earlier when it was reading 66, and I said, it's a beautiful sunny day and it felt good. Well, we must be getting used to these cold temperatures because 66 is kind of chilly to us. So anyway. Outside of that, Nothing is planned for the rest of the day here, just taking it easy. And I may get a little sewing done, but if not today, maybe tomorrow. There's always another day. I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and I'll be talking to you again real soon. But for this time, for this Tea Tuesday, it's going to be bye for now.